Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Saya kini berada di Malaysia ICT Summit 2023 di Mitek sekarang ni. Jadi, pada pagi tadi saya berpeluang untuk nak menghadiri 5G Summit oleh pihak Huawei. Ha, dan dalam masa yang sama anda nampak ada macam-macam benda dekat belakang ni kan. Jadi sebenarnya dekat sini dia ke showcase pelbagai teknologi lah. Jadi antaranya melibatkan 5G. Jadi jom saya tunjukkan kepada anda apa yang ada di sini. Hi everyone, welcome to the Malaysia ICT Summit 2023. I'm Madeline from Huawei, Malaysia. And today we'll be talking about 5G. So, how does 5G affect our daily lives? You might not know this already, but 5G is actually a better uh, performing data services than 4G LTE. What 5G does is that it's connecting us to the network in a really fast way. For example, when you're watching a YouTube video on a subway or in your car, you might be watching it at 480 pixels or 720 pixels. With 5G, you can watch it at uh, 1080 pixels. So that means you're getting a better quality video watching experience. In terms of um, live broadcasting, which is getting more common nowadays, especially with TikToks, with Facebook shops, With live broadcasting and 5G, it basically allows um, all the sellers to do live broadcast without any congestions and without any lags or screen freezes, which means that the end users who are enjoying the live broadcast, they get to enjoy the entire full uh, live broadcasting session without any lags and without any jams. And in terms of 5G to business scenarios, it's basically applying the 5G technology into industries such as education, um, such as the manufacturing production line, or even at construction or mining facilities. So this means that we're deploying 5G CPEs so that all these end terminal devices, um, for example, your tablet, your um, VR glasses are connected to the 5G network so that all data are being transmitted with a very very little latency close to 20 to 30 milliseconds of latency which means that you're getting your data super quick and you're getting all these videos your transmission into your end terminal devices in a very short time so you won't experience any wait time um, while you're for example in your classroom watching a video or in the mining um, scenario where you're controlling your tractors and all that And that's 5G in a nutshell. Thank you. This is the autonomous vehicle, a car without driver. All right. So we wanted to bring into Malaysia. You know why? Because last year, 72% of SPN dealers don't want to further study. They really makes us worry. So we brought in this to want to show it to them. The future is now. Jangan tiapa. You do not study harder. You'll be replaced by machine. It can do delivery 24 by 7, day and night. Okay, so we will be entering to the KIA soon. So they will do 360 degree surveillance to complement the blind spot of CCTV. That's number one. Second, this will enhance the the branding of airport for Malaysia. All right. Third one, this will be the best uh, mobile retail. Example like U Mobile. Instead, you having a kiosk waiting for customer to come. You can proactively to go to the crowd, hanging around the KIA within the airport or even after the custom. All right. So ultimately, we hope uh, when the Prime Minister is here, we hope the Ministry of Education will work together to bring this autonomous vehicle to the school to show them this is sign, this stamp, this sign, this technology, this mathematics, this engineering. Because we believe only our next generation can change our country for the better Malaysia. Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Xiang Fei Chai. I'm from HY Medical from China, Beijing. And uh, what we are doing is uh, using the AI, artificial intelligence te uh, technology, to empower the 
a system can automatically read the medical imaging and to help a doctor to uh, dramatically increase the uh, diagnosis uh, efficiency and the accuracy. So like, like I mentioned, uh, I show you like in the CT or MRI, you already have like a hundred, even thousand images. So you traditionally, uh, doctor take, need to take like a 20 or 30 minutes to read the whole image to write an accurate report. But using AI, AI can learn this, uh, some uh, lesions from the thousand, a thousand even hundred thousand pictures. Then eventually you can automatically, automatically uh, diagnose and detect the lesion and make the final decision, and the, which is much uh, faster and more accurate than the uh, human doctor. That's basically what we are doing. And uh, also, the, because the medical imaging is a have big volume, and so using the 5G network in any clinic, any uh, patient itself, or the, some big, even big hospitals, they can uh, easily upload their image using 5G network. And, it, and also with the Huawei Cloud centralized computing technology can very fast uh, do the, all the AI analysis, then send the image back to their local storage. Yeah, that's basically what we are doing and how we are working with Huawei. Yeah. Jadi itulah dia tuan-tuan dan puan-puan sekalian saya bawakan kepada anda maklumat daripada Malaysia ICT Summit 2023. Jadi insyaAllah kita akan jumpa lagi di episod yang seterusnya di pendakwah teknologi. Jadi sekiranya anda rasa episod ini mendatangkan manfaat kepada anda maka saya harap anda sudilah untuk nak subscribe video YouTube di pendakwah teknologi dan juga follow Facebook dan juga Twitter rasmi pendakwah teknologi. InsyaAllah kita jumpa lagi di episod yang seterusnya. Assalamualaikum.